Hello students, I hope you all are fine at home. Today I am making this video to explain you the chapter Stakeholders in a Commercial Organization. So let's get started. The name of the chapter is Stakeholders in a Commercial Organization. These are the topics which we will cover in this video. First topic is meaning of stakeholders. Stakeholder comprises of two words, stake, holders. Stake means interest and holders are the individuals, institutions, etc. What is a stakeholder? It simply means the group of people who have an interest in the business organization. Children, do you know stakeholder leads a positive as well as negative impact on the organization? In a positive sense, it provides necessary resources. If the stakeholder is not satisfied with the organization, it may interrupt in the functioning of the business. Second topic is what is a shareholder, customer and creditor? A shareholder is an individual or institution that legally owns one or more shares in a public or private corporation. What is a customer? A customer is an individual or business that purchases goods or services from another company. Who is a creditor? A creditor is a person, bank or other enterprise that has lent money or extended credit to another party. Now, we will study how stakeholders, shareholders, customers, Creditors are different from each other. So, first point of difference is between internal and external stakeholders. Internal stakeholders are those who operate from inside the organization. Whereas, external stakeholders are those who operate from outside the organization. The example of the internal stakeholders are employees, employers, etc. Whereas the example of external stakeholders are customers, government, etc. Second point of difference is between shareholders and the stakeholders. Shareholders are the persons who own shares. Stakeholders are the persons who have interest in the organization. All shareholders are stakeholders but all share stakeholders are not shareholders because people who own the shares of the company will definitely have interest in the organization whereas the people who have interest in the organization may or may not own the shares of the company. Only joint stock company which is limited by shares have shareholders. All the business enterprises, whether joint stock company, partnership, have stakeholders. Third point of difference is between stakeholders and customers. Stakeholders are the persons who have financial stake or interest in the organization. Customers don't have financial stake or interest in the organization. Stakeholders do not buy goods and services from the organization. Customers buy goods and services from the organization. Stakeholders take risk. Customers don't take risk. Fourth point of difference is between stakeholders and creditors. Stakeholders are the persons who invest in the company. Creditors give loan. Stakeholders are the members of the company, whereas the creditors are not considered as the members of the company. Being the members of the company, stakeholders have voting rights. Creditors are not the members of the company, so they don't have voting rights. Coming to the last topic of the chapter is expectations of stakeholders. The person who invest or show interest in the organization have some expectations. First expectation is of employers. Who are the employers? A person or an organization that employs people 
like the principal of the school can be considered as employer what an employer expects first a public image of the company for which they can feel proud second accurate and up to date regular information about the working and financial health of the company second expectation is of employees who are the employees employees are the person working for the organization like the teacher can be considered as an employee what an employee expects first security of job if a person is working for the organization he expects some security in return second a fair remuneration employee expects to get a fair and good salary as it motivates them to work hard third safe and comfortable working environment these were the expectations of employees next expectation is of suppliers what a supplier expects first fair prices for the supplies second regular and timely payment payment should not be delayed next is the expectation of creditors what the creditors expect first regular payment of interest second security in the form of mortgage or personal guarantee coming to the expectations of competitors or associates first an atmosphere of healthy competition cooperation among the competitors now what a government expects government expects first to follow the laws and regulations of the country to pay all taxes honestly regularly and timely what a society expects society expects first to respect human rights to help weaker sections of the society thank you stay indoors